What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 16 of the Ask Coach Murph Show. It's been a long time. I think it's been about uh, 10 months since the last Ask Coach Murph Show, uh, but we are now in our new location, South Shore, Boston, Hanover, Massachusetts. This is the official uh, YouTube room. We're going to be doing a lot of interviews in here, Ask Coach Murph episodes, etc. Uh, but we'll update you guys with more of that. We'll do a little tour of the space for that video coming up soon. But without further ado, let's get into the questions that we got the other day. You know, I, I wouldn't say there's one perfect way to prep for the season. Everybody's different. Uh, you know, again, we've talked about this in the past. You got to, in the off season, you got to focus on what your weaknesses are. So whether that's speed, whether that's your first couple steps, whether that's your stamina, uh, you know, whatever it is, you need to focus on what your weaknesses are in the off season and work on those. And that's, you know, that, that's the best thing you can do when you're prepping for the season. We're about a month away from the season for most people, uh, at least high schoolers. So you're basically going to be maintaining strength at this point. Work on your mobility, your flexibility of a month to do that. I would definitely get some sprint work in, get your stick in your hands and just be ready. Be ready to be hungry and get after every single play of practice because that is what the coaches say. John, good question. Uh, you know, the best way to burn fat, it, it's, again, it's different for everybody because uh, everybody's body composition is different. Your genetics are different. But as long as you're working out consistently at least three days a week, try to make it four to five, um, and then eating well. Eat clean foods. We, we tell everybody eat real food. So food that grows from the ground, food that has roamed the earth, whether it's flying or slithering or swimming or running, um, eat real food. Uh, and that combination of just consistent workouts and eating natural food that you actually cook and you know what's in it, that will help you burn fat. This is a great question, guys. You know, how do you maintain your strength? How do you recover throughout the season? It's, uh, and again, you know, just like the other questions we had today, it's different for everybody. But what we tell kids, one to two days a week, you should be still working on your strength. And it's not gaining strength. You're not doing one rep maxes, but you wanna maintain your strength throughout the season. Because most kids, right, they'll be really strong going into the season, and then by the time the playoffs hit, they've lost a lot of their strength because they haven't been maintaining that, that strength throughout the season. And the playoff time is crucial for being strong and at your peak performance. I would definitely be doing 15 to 20 minutes of mobility work. Uh, almost every day if you can. That will help you with recovery, uh, but nutrition and sleep are a huge portion of this. So sleeping is enormously important. At least eight hours a night, especially when you're in college and high school, you need that sleep and it's gotta be uninterrupted sleep. Turn your phone off, go to bed. At least eight hours, if you can get more to that, awesome. Nutrition is enormously important as well. Hydration, you gotta make sure you're drinking throughout the week. And again, eat real food, healthy fats, avocados, nuts, but eat real food that you have to cook. Make sure you're eating veggies, make sure you're eating a little bit of fruit, a lot of protein, uh, healthy carbs, and healthy fats. Guys, if you need more info on any of this stuff, shoot us a direct message on Instagram, email us. You can email me directly, sean, S-E-A-N, at boostlacrosse.com. Uh, any way you can get in touch with us, ask us anything you got. We're here to help you guys. But thank you for sending the question in. It's great questions. Stay tuned for more. We're going to be doing a lot more videos uh, now that we're kind of set up in the space now. Uh, we'll do a tour coming soon, but a lot more of these videos and a lot more content coming your way. See you guys soon.